Hello, this is Kevin Burke, and this is a short video on how you can use the program Finale to scan music that you're working on and change features such as its key. The first thing we'll need to do is to scan our music so it's ready to import into Finale. If you come up to the System Preferences, this will be the quickest way for you to find the scanner. Select Printers and Scanners, click Scan, and Open Scanner. Make sure that the printer in the music lab is connected to the computer. Once the scanner has turned on and opened up, it will offer you a preview of the piece of music that you've selected. To make the settings work for Finale, you'll need to make sure that you select a black and white grayscale, not color. Make sure that the resolution is set to 300 dpi no less and no more. The last thing you'll want to include is that the file format should be a TIFF file for Finale to import it. You can provide a name and select where you would like the scan file to appear. Once you have finished scanning, the scanned item will appear in the location you've selected and you can go ahead and close the scanner. I've saved the file to the desktop just for easy access. Once you've scanned each page that you would like to import into Finale, go ahead and open up the program. When you select Import, go down to TIFF File. It will open up a box for Smart Score. Click OK. And then click Add Files to List and identify your scanned page of music. Once it's on the list, you can select it to see a brief preview and then click Begin Recognition. You can then select the name for your instrument. This particular one is clarinet, so I will scroll down to find the B-flat clarinet. Select OK. And you'll see that it has imported most of the information from the scanned music. Now what you can then customize is you can come in and select the text item select this box, double click it, and we can go ahead and type in our title. We can also get rid of any text that we don't want. And then we can make edits to this score. One of the things um, that you'll notice in comparison, I'm going to bring up my scanned image, is you can see that a lot of the editorial functions are not here, but we do have our rhythmic values, accidentals, time signatures, and rest, but not a lot of the articulations and dynamics. So we can come in here and add those using Finale's program. So for example, if I want to add uh, a slur, I could select the slur from the Smart Palette here and come in and add it into my imported piece. I can come in and select Dynamics, so that it matches, and so on. Now, perhaps the purpose of this, and this is a common reason, is this was imported to take it to a different key. Select the Key Signature button under the main tool palette, and then double-click the first measure. Select Measure 1 through End of Piece and you can indicate whether you want the notes to transpose up or down. And let's say I want to take this down a step. I'll select down. And then I'll just adjust my key signature down one whole step and click OK. And then everything has been adjusted in the piece. All the accidentals have been switched. All the notes have been lowered. And then I can come in and finish all my other stylistic features as needed. When I'm finished, I can easily print this off. Or save it as a PDF.